Wow. It's not a masculine word. So when you go into the Hebrew, you'll see it yourself. That it's actually a feminine spirit. It's Rawak, which is the Holy Spirit. Now, let's get this. The proof is in your own book. I need you to go to Exodus 3 and, 3 and 13. You go there when it comes to the Most High's name. Get me Ja and Hova out of here. Both of them. Yeah. Get both of them. Sister, you got you you, you got you got all uh, Exodus three? I need you to read Exodus three and thirteen through fifteen for me, brother. Read that. Y'all comfortable there? I need some back support, right? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably want to sit on the. You probably want to move that part and just sit back, right? You good? All right, read read that so the sister can get the I am. Exodus three and thirteen, and Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel. And say, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? So, the, so Moses is asking the Most High's name, right, sister? Read. And they shall say, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? What shall I say unto them? So let's see if he's going to say, My name is Jehovah or God or any other name they've given you here. Read. And the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. I am that I am, read. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. Say to the children of Israel, read. I am have sent me unto you. I am sent me unto you. Now, I have a Hebrew, English, Torah. Okay. Moses said to the Most High, when I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And the Most High said to Moses, Ahia, Ashar, Ahia. He continued, Thus shall you say to the Israelites, Ahia sent me to you. You would keep it on what you know it's there, but it's there. Also in the Hebrew wow. here, it's Ahia, Ashar, Ahia. That's his name. That's the name they hide from the people you've heard of. Every other name except that. Yeah, I've never heard that before. Yeah. I have never heard that before. And the Israelites never heard it before, which is introduced to them by Moses. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to say this. Hallelujah is Satan. I do not. No is Satan. God is yeah. Satan. Jehovah is Satan. I'm going to show you. Every Allah is Satan. Oh, okay. yeah. Elohim can be the fallen angels or the regular angels. All these different names they gave you. The Masoretes did this between the 8th and 10th century, took the Most High's name out of all his records and ejected Satan. So he could be worshipped once the people are awake. Now listen, I'm going to show you how profound this information is. On YouTube, you can do anything you want and they want to raise you. We started breaking down the names that they gave to the Maverick and breaking down how Satan's name had been injected in the book. Not only did they suspend multiple the pages. videos, they suspend the whole page. More than, more than once. Yeah. They suspend the whole page. <laughs> they suspend the whole page. More than once. And you know why? Listen, and this, I want to say this. The reason they did it, they would rather they would rather bunch us in with some rogue, evil people that don't like other people. But we are a deeper threat because we actually bring information people you can research yourself. That's the threat. 
Okay? We, listen, because listen, I, listen, I did not publish this. I didn't put it together. The Jewish people put this together. But they didn't expect, here it is, the only thing you're dealing with is, is, is what, uh, old English and blunts. So they know, you, they know our people are not going to look into this. That's right, you're right. You understand? So, you know, they, they, and then they can say, listen, we gave it to them. They just didn't look for it. They just accepted what was out there. So it's right here in your face. There's only one name of the Most High. Religion's not teaching that. No, What's not. that one name? A higher brother. Ahaya. And Christ is. You remember the Indians who say Yeah, uh, oh, a higher, a higher, a higher, yeah. Right. She said, oh, I, I just realized that. Wow. The reason why. Go ahead. He's saying something there. Go ahead. The reason why they do that, took it off the air, because when you bring raw truth, like you said, it's the number one, the government, the government is more threatened to the government in higher places than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. That's why if people like you and us that's here today must not be afraid to speak the raw truth, no matter what the course is. Exactly. You sit here, you say that you are a Jew, a real Jew, then you need to speak truth of what we believe in. Exactly. Don't, don't hide it. So no matter what Jews that's out there claim they are Jews and not, truth is so powerful, you can't be afraid. My question is, are you willing to die for the truth? Of course. Because the truth is, that's where you're going. That's what's happening. You've got to speak that truth. And I, I really think God. Yeah, I really think Ahaya for you guys is speaking out and not being afraid. And there's something I need to tell you in confidentiality that not a lot of people can hear. Okay. And, well, we can... and when I first seen you, I already seen you and your, your, your armor bearers, that's what I call them. Wow. Okay, that's the tech, you all cup bearers. Mm -hmm. When I first seen you, I already seen what you guys got to be ready for when we go over Israel. Wow. Mm, well, I, I got to talk to you then. That's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this. When, it, when the information first came, 